Hey guys, and welcome to today's idiot video. Today's video comes from Long Island Audit, where he flexes his ability to harass people for views. Because, you know, the First Amendment allows dipshits to do dipshit things. So let's begin. Hey, post-editing skeptic here. I forgot to warn you guys about this sexy bald head, um, which I'll be continuing to rock as long as my good friend OPT Lawyer continues to fight colon cancer. We love you, OPT. And now we can begin. Hey, what's up guys? Long Island Audit here, back again with another video. Today we are at the Long Beach City Hall here in Long Beach, Long Island, New York. We are here today to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas and to ensure that our public officials and public servants treat us with respect, respect our rights, and are open to transparency and accountability. You could have just shortened that whole description down to, I harass hardworking people for views. So, hi, how are you, ma'am? Pretty good. Uh, what is this floor uh, used for here in City Hall? Are you filming me right now? I am filming you right now, yeah. Could you not do that, please? Uh, I, can, I can't stop filming, no. What, are you just too retarded to turn your camera off? What I think you mean to say is that you won't turn it off. Not that you can't turn it off. Okay, why are you filming? Ma'am, I, I just want to know what this, what this floor is why used filming? for. Ma'am, again, I just I just want to know what this floor I is used for. Why don't you tell me where this is going to go and why are you filming me? So where is this going to go and why am I filming? Yes. I'm filming because it's my First Amendment right to film, ma'am. That's all. Are you a are you a law enforcement officer? I'm a New York State Court officer. You're a New York State Court yes. officer. Okay. So and you I'm, should you should know that I have the right to film law enforcement all, and government officials in the course of their like duty. To know where my well, you're you're a public employee, ma'am. You're you're a public you're a public servant, so you know you don't have any expectation of privacy in public. I don't get this. She didn't tell you to stop filming her to put your tiny flaccid camera away. As with any normal human being, she's just curious as to why you're jabbing a camera in her face. And you would think that with all the uneducated police on the force, according to frauditors that this jackass would be offering up his constitutional education channel to every officer he meets. But no, not him. Because it's not about educating anybody, it's about getting a reaction from someone to make his shit content digestible. So I just wanted to know, I, I'm, just, I'm just quoting the law to you, ma'am, but I just want to know what is this floor used for? Never been here before? Court. So obviously a state court? New York State Court, yes, but this is in the City of Long Beach. Okay, yeah, because this is the City Hall building, correct? Correct. Okay, great. And this is a state court? New York State Court, yes, or New York State Court Officers. Court Officers, great, sounds good. And um, so I just have to pass this mag to walk around, correct? Correct. Okay, great. But I cannot allow you into this area filming. You are outside of it right now, but yeah. I can't allow you to film you're so not, I, as you should know, the law, you are not allowed to film well, inside a courthouse. I know I can't film inside a courtroom. I'm not so sure if I don't, if I don't have the right to film in the hallways. This is, these are public hallways open to the public, you know man. What? I love how he says that he's not so sure that he's allowed to film in the hallways. Because that's an amazing admittance of ignorance and more frauditors should follow his lead. Because that's what her job is to do, to make sure you adhere to the rules that you're not so sure about. Well, let me get my supervisor sure. and you can discuss this with her. Can I get just get your name and your badge number? Yes, my, I'm Officer Friel and I'm... Okay. And your, and your badge officer? number is 7089? This is yeah. my Sergeant. Sergeant, Hi, Sergeant. Hi, Sergeant. So what are you going to do? And your badge number is? I'm sorry. I'm here. You can... okay. Do you guys have the same last name? Oh, I, I thought it was the same last name. Sorry, I got confused. I'm sure this guy gets confused when asked what color is best as tastes best. Um, yeah, no, I was just asking your officer here uh, what was on this level. I wasn't exactly sure. And um, I'm doing. I'm working on a story. I'm an independent journalist. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. So I wanted to walk. I wanted to walk around in the the publicly accessible areas in the courthouse. I'm not going to go into any courtrooms or anything, just to document what's going on up here on the uh, second floor here. All right, I'll ask the clerk and see what they have to say. Okay, that's, 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 that's fine. Just on a, 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What entity do I work for? Oh, I guess. Oh, I'm independent. I'm an independent journalist, yeah. I work for myself, and I work for the people, really. Independent journalists, you say? Is that maybe because no accredited journalism firm that hires real journalists would hire a cave-dwelling finger painter that has a BS in bullshit and a double major in being a pain in the ass? How you doing? What are you doing? Excuse me? What am I doing? You refused to sign in downstairs, correct? No one asked me to sign in. Yeah, no. You need to sign in at the front desk. No one asked me to sign in, ma'am. The officer down there said that he did. Well, that's why I'm recording, ma'am. Can I know who you are first? Could you just come down with me and sign in? Can, can I know? You can come through the building. Ma'am, can I can I know who you are first? Just come I don't, in with me. I don't and I'll know. Tell you who I, am. I don't know who you are, ma'am. I don't know who you are, sir. You need to sign in. To but be you're you're the one confronting me, ma'am. No, I'm with all due respect. You, I'm sorry, but respect is the last thing that's on your mind. Because if it was all about the due respect, then you would respect this woman's position and just go on down to the front and sign in just like everyone else that wants to wander the halls aimlessly with a camera filming the walls. I'm asking you to come downstairs and comply with the rules I walked, and sign in. I walked into a publicly accessible building, ma'am. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go in and, and jump through your hoops. Just I, I walked in. No one told me to sign in. No one this is a public building. Yes, and, and there's, there's I have a right to a be rule here. That you should sign in downstairs. There's a rule. I'm just asking you to come downstairs and sign in. No, ma'am, I'm not gonna go downstairs and sign in. No, I'm not gonna do that because that that's me giving up my personal information. Yeah, try using that excuse at a public school. I mean, seriously, try walking around a public elementary school with a camera without signing in or identifying yourself. And be sure to tell them that it's your First Amendment protected right to do so because they're on public government owned property. Just don't call me from jail. Well, she was very rude. Dude, don't be a fucking hypocrite. City Comptroller. How you doing? Hey, how are you doing? Alright. Uh, I think you failed to sign in downstairs with me. Yeah, you never told me to sign in, though. Perhaps the mess, I did, but perhaps the mess, but you gotta sign in. I'm not sure if this is allowed, but uh, yeah. with, with me, you gotta sign in, though. Yeah, you could, right. you could put on, you could put down a No, no, I can't write anything name. for you. You have to sign in. No, I'm not gonna give up my rights and sign away my, and sign yeah, a name. I want to point a few things out here, because what is the value of criticism if there is no integrity behind it? And to the frauditor's credit in this situation, this special officer never asked him to sign in. And lying about it to save face is a move I would expect a frauditor to do, not an officer. How you doing today? Yeah, nothing. I'm just gonna go through City Hall. All right, thank you. The best thing to do in this situation would have been to just say, yeah, I messed up, but the rules are the rules and you're still going to have to come down to the front and sign in. I'm only saying this because it's these type of reactions that frauditors and their Neander viewers feed off of. And if we starve them by not giving them easy content like this, then maybe their whole community will just die off on its own. Yeah. It's not to stop you from doing anything, just with me and, you know, you gotta sign in. Okay, but you didn't, you didn't tell me that though. Uh, perhaps. Okay, so let me, let me finish handling my business here really quick and then I'll, I'll get down there. I gotta go with you so you could sign in. You I mean, you can follow, up. you can follow me everywhere you want, yeah. No, 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 I'm, I'm not stopping you. Uh -huh. I don't know if this is allowed or not. You yeah. understand? Uh -huh. What I'm saying is you gotta sign in with me. Yeah. Then you do what you gotta do. But I'm already in the building. So what is it? I, I, I could, I could easily take care of that when I go back downstairs. I'm signing out. Again, try that shit at a public school and let me know how it goes for you when you get out of jail. Yeah, I can easily take care of that when I go back downstairs. Now you're signing so. out, but if you're here, you gotta sign in. If you're in yeah. the building, that's the policy. It's downstairs too. I'm, the and this is, I'm trying to get the policies. I wanna just come, confirm you're what you're saying. you somebody here? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to talk to somebody here. And then I wanna go to the city manager's office. See, that's when you gotta sign in with yeah. me to do all that. Any other steps, you gotta sign in with me. Yeah, Anything that's from, from now you gotta sign in with me. But I wanna, I wanna contest. What you gotta do. But what I'm saying is, I wanna, cont I, I wanna contest that policy that you have. To sign in? To sign in, correct. It's down there. Yeah, no, I wanna contest it. What the fuck? Do you actually think that this guy is the one who wrote the policy? And if not, 
then why even bother trying to change or contest the policy with the front desk security guy? At this point, you really only have two options. You can either leave the building on your own, or you can sign in and continue to do whatever pointless shit you were doing to begin with. And then there is always that third and most popular option with my viewers. You can be escorted out of the building, weighing about a pair of handcuffs heavier than you did when you walked in. Can I get um, your name? There's a sign downstairs. Yeah. I get everything you said. Uh -huh. There's a sign downstairs that says to come in the building. You must Hold on, sign this guy's just coming up, so I'm gonna move. I'm gonna okay. move like this. You must sign in in the building. So anything from here on, you gotta sign in with me. If you wanna go anywhere else, you must sign in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I said, I don't know if it's a lot or not. I'm not stopping you, but with me, you gotta sign in. Yeah. Well, you never. I mean, when in... you came in, perhaps there was other people. I didn't get a chance to tell you, but right now I'm saying you gotta sign in. Yeah. All right. No. So but... you could only come with me and sign in, and then you do whatever you gotta do. No, but what I'm saying is I've already been in the building, so well, my... see you got you you wanna go up to the city to the city manager. Yeah, correct. Any, any any other step you gotta do, you gotta sign in. Yeah. That's what it is. Hold up, I'm just gonna go on the other side of you. I don't want you guys. No, uh, no you're gonna I, go sign in. I don't want you guys uh, blocking me in here. Well, can I get can I get your name and badge number, sure, officer? You're literally looking right at my name and my badge number. Well, I would like you to identify yourself. Okay, that's all. You... Officer, you just made the first mistake when dealing with a frauditor assuming they can proficiently read above a third grade level. Go sign in, please. Hi, how are you? How are you? Good. Thank you. Good. Would you just go sign in, please, and then you conduct all your business? That's well, I, 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 pa I passed security, and I didn't have to sign in. He didn't, he didn't tell me to, to sign in. He didn't tell me to sign in. As I'm already in the building? you need to sign in. Yeah, what, what, law, what law is that, officer? You're, 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 a law, you're a law enforcement officer? Yes, I am. Can I get your name and badge number, please? It's Inspector De Palma. I don't have a badge number. Okay. Inspector, nice to meet you. Um, that's not a law to sign into a building. There, there is no law. Can you? It's our policy. Otherwise, you're trespassing. But you're not, pol you're not you policy enforcement. This, you're this law is, enforcement. This is, this is, this right. Because the guy in blue, the one you keep arguing with and ignoring, is the one who's there to enforce the policy. The other officers are just there in case you need to be trespassed off the property. What you should do is just go downstairs and sign the visitor login sheet like every other person does when they visit that city hall. And no, signing a visitor login sheet is not a violation of your human, civil, or constitutional rights. This is a secure building, okay? I understand that. So we're asking you to go sign it. Okay, so yeah, I don't have to give, I don't, wait, I'm not gonna give up any of my, uh, my identification, I'm not giving you my license or anything like that. So it's so we're clear before I go, go downstairs. Inside, downstairs and sign in. Like what, are the, what, are the pro, what are the procedures for signing in? We'll, we'll discuss this downstairs. Why can't I just know the procedures? Because the best way to learn how to do shit right is to just go downstairs and start doing shit right. I'm going to go sign in, okay. but I'm everything. not going to give you my, uh, my license or anything, just so we're clear, okay? Okay, great. Whatever you decide. Great. Hi, can I get your name and badge number? Officer How about you, officer? Officer Reinhardt, 289. Great. And you guys are Long uh, City Long of Long Beach, Beach Police? Yes, sir. And you are City of Long Beach uh, Police, law enforcement, sir? Indeed. Okay, great. Just wanted to make sure who everybody is. Uh, there's a policy that says, just real quick, there's a policy that says there can only be two people in an elevator at a time. So uh, you guys can catch the next one. I'll go with you. Can you get a yeah, people? we don't want to break any policies here. Yeah, because policy is your top priority, obviously. This is the type of jackass that would file a complaint against the officers if both of them got in the elevator because of a violation of policy. But... At the same time, will refuse to follow any policy that he doesn't explicitly agree with. This is a common example of the cognitive dissonance that runs rampant in the frauditor community. Like Amon Ganset Press or whatever the hell his name is. I'll be covering him soon. Don't worry. Like when he says he's there to defend the First Amendment and then in his own video, he attacks people for even approaching him while he's doing his audit. If you're all about freedom of speech, why are you not about that person's freedom of speech? Kind of hypocritical if you ask me. Right. He's just going to sign it. Just want to see the, uh, can you show me the policy where it says to sign in? No, this is the sign in sheet. I want to see the policy. 
where it says to sign in. Hey officer, since you're such an expert in policy, can you can you show me the policy where it says I have to I don't sign in? I carry policy around with me. Did you identify yourself as a police officer to the third floor? I had a report of that. Is that true? I don't answer questions. Okay. I don't answer any questions. Fifth so Amendment right. I really hate giving a frauditor any credit whatsoever. But unless he cut out of his video the part where he identifies himself as a police officer, I don't remember him saying anything like that at all. So I went back and watched the video. And I can confirm that he did not actually say that in his video that he posted. But now we can add seven to the idiot counter for the seven times that he answered a question when he doesn't answer questions. And let's also add one more to the idiot counter because he's a First Amendment frauditor and all frauditors are fucking idiots. All right, guys. Thanks for sticking around until the end of the video. Leave a like if you like the video. Leave a dislike if you dislike the video. Comment hashtag part two if you want to see me cover the second half of this video because yes, there is a second half to this video and he almost gets arrested for trespassing in a police station. And a special thank you and shout out to all of my channel members and Patreons whose support helps me keep doing what I love to do. Calling out idiots on the internet. I'm Team Skeptic, and I'm out.